everyone good afternoon so this today is sunday here in the philippines and before the weekend is finally over i thought of sharing some real-time process video on how i work on some of my floral watercolor bouquets so for this afternoon session i'll be using this um, watercolor confection terrain from art philosophy and I'll be using as well this um, Jack of All Trade round brush that I luckily won from an Instagram giveaway. This came from Pan Art Global. It's a round brush, size 6, synthetic sable brush. And here's a clean water. So first thing that you have to identify um, when you want to create a floral bouquet you need to identify first your composition. What will be included on your floral bouquet? First, you have to identify which flower are you gonna paint, the colors that you will be using, and everything will fall into place. Just let your imagination flow and creative juices flow. So let's start. So I'll be using this Sassafras, Sassafras, I'm not sure of the pronunciation. It's like a rich and bright yellow ochre or medium yellow color from the terrain watercolor confection. So first I'll do is dab my brush on a clean water and get some pigment on the watercolor pan. And I'll just create this petal, a round petal. Okay, there. So while it's wet, dab your brush on the clean water and paint another one here. But it's like half of the entire petal that we've painted earlier. So since it's lighter, get some pigment from your pan. There you go. Now, I'll dab my brush again on a clean water without getting any pigment. And I'll draw or paint this lighter petals. Half petals. Now that while well, the paint is still wet, get some of the sour wood color from the terrain set and mix it with maple color so we'll create an orangey but reddish color and we'll put that in here and let's just wait for it to bleed and then clean your brush Get some pigment from the sassafras or the medium yellow and let's paint like this. Okay. Paint it like that. And then get some pigment here and put it in the bottom petal. Okay, and then now, let's just clean some of the water, excess water. And we're gonna get some of the deep or cadmium yellow. And we'll mix it with some of the red orange that we've mixed earlier and then we'll create a larger flower c stroke larger c stroke inverted c stroke there 
then while the paint is still wet put some brighter red and now let's do it again but this time larger petals so don't be afraid of experimenting on your petals it doesn't have to be similar to the first because in reality flowers don't have the same symmetry and we want our flowers to look as more natural and more loose Okay, now we get some of the orange for the bleeds. Do it while the paint is still wet. Some orange. And red. Okay. And now we're going to do the same. We're gonna draw this same flower below. Same petal. Sorry. Like this. And then this. Then you connect both lines like this. Okay. And then while it's still wet, Put some bleeds and yellow, orange color plus the red. There. You can also add some dark color in the middle so don't worry if your paint or if your flower isn't wet already so this is just a combination of the blue and the violet And now we're going to create another flower. Combination of orange and the sour wood color from the terrain palettes. Okay. So this time we're going to do it inverted. <laughs> it's hard to paint inverted <laughs> during times like this I really need to turn around my brush but in the interest of time I will no longer do that see and another one in here but a lot bigger and more subtle in terms of color but of course we'll add watercolor bleeds and add that color again Okay. 
So now we're just gonna have the fillers. The purple smoke color combined with the maple and the sarwood mix. So we'll have some reds in here, foliage, So, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now, next are the greeneries. So, I don't have a personal preference on the green, but I kind of like mix it with other greens. And it's really cute if there are some like imperfections on the lines because it makes your branches and your flowers more realistic. So it doesn't always have to be a straight line. I'm gonna add some violet in here and here here as well see hang on here so now the next thing to do is identify where you are going to put your leaves So, for me, I start with the lightest leaves. Probably I'll have this color. I would admit, this is one of the hardest part when painting a floral leaf or a floral bouquet. Because when I look at this, I'm okay with this already, but I'm scared to ruin this painting because of the leaves, the colors of the leaves or where will I put the leaves. So I hope <laughs> I won't ruin it. Mm -hmm. um, here. Oops. There. And then the leaves are branching out like this. So I'm just playing around with the color greens. So I have nothing in particular na naman. So
So there you have it. I'm gonna stop right now because I don't want to ruin anything. So you've created your first watercolor floral bouquet using art philosophy. For more videos and tutorials like this, terrain. you can subscribe on my YouTube channel, Mitch Ranido. And I hope you can give me some love. Thank you Thank so much you. for watching.